Hello, this is Johan Falk with another screencast about installing Drupal stuff. This time I'm going to talk about uh, some standard modules which I use on basically all my Drupal installations because they make the work much easier to uh, build and manage the site. Um, there are three modules I'm going to install. The first one is called Module Filter. Uh, it allows uh, filtering uh, modules easily, so you can find the modules you want in the module list. The second one is called Administration Menu. It allows uh, easy navigation to different administration pages uh, without having to do multiple clicks and, and things. And third, it's the Devel module that you probably already saw in the last screencast. Um, and if you haven't, che haven't checked that screencast out, go do that now because I'm not going to go through uh, all the steps of installing modules. So look at that and, and have a closer look at how to install modules. Okay, so instead of uh, downloading these manually and extracting them and putting them in my uh, Sites All Modules folder in, in my website, uh, I am going to use the uh, Drush uh, tool. That is a command line tool that is pretty, well, extremely handy to have. So I'm switching to my terminal. I'm now in my, uh, in my, in the uh, folder for my site that I'm working with. I have a clean site now installed for this date, and I'm gonna uh, download the modules I want. I type drush dl is download, and then I type the machine names of these modules. The first one is module filter. These are some kind of clean names. No capital letters, no spaces, and things like that. Easy to manage for, for machines. Module filter, and I want administration menu. It's called admin menu on the machine name language. And the devel module, which is called devel, also on machine name. Enter. And then I get my standard warning message for this uh, uh, database thing. It downloads module filter version 1.6. Admin menu 3.0 release candidate one that's RC1 and the devel module 1.2. It, it automatically it collects the latest, well, the latest stable version of a module uh, if you don't tell Drush to do anything else. All right, uh, then on my site now I go into modules. Uh, this is nothing you have to do because you, you can manage the site without these modules as, as well, but I recommend doing this because it's very easy uh, to do. Well, it, it makes it easier. You'll save time eventually. Uh, the first one I will enable is the module filter module because it makes uh, the rest of the work easier. So I check this one and save. And that means I have time for a cup of tea. Lo uh, module loading time is usually tea time for me, but now I talked instead. Ah. Okay, next thing I want to do is to disable the overlay module, uh, making the, uh, the administration pages appear in this menu up here. I, I think that's... Uh, well, I, I use such a small frame when recording screencasts, so I don't really want to use this uh, even smaller portion of it. So I disable mo uh, overlay module. I will also disable the dashboard module because I never use it and it takes up unnecessary space up here. You, might, you may very well uh, continue to use overlay and dashboard. You will hopefully find your own modules that you like to use, but this is what I do. So I explain it so you don't get confused about your environment looking different than mine. All right, and then... Uh, well, let's save here to start with. That's it. Okay, you see I have more space here, that's nice. Uh, then I will replace this standard toolbar up here with the administration menu. So let's try here, toolbar. I turn off the standard toolbar. If I just save here, you can see it. there's a quite an interesting change. I don't have it up here anymore, which makes it pretty difficult to navigate the to admin pages on my site. But uh, there is a module called admin administration module toolbar style that depends on the administration menu module. So Drupal will tell me it has to enable the uh, admin menu module here. So let's do that. And there we have a toolbar again. And you can see I now can reach uh, more pages in just one click. And that's kind of handy, I think. 
Um, I think that's it. I also downloaded the Devel module and well why don't we enable it actually. Let's enable the Devel Generate module. Um, it's a handy module to have when you build dummy content and, and are, are experimenting with sites. Okay, so that's it. What did I change? I disabled the dashboard and the overlay. I disabled the toolbar. I enabled the Devel Generate module just now. The module filter module which gives this handy filtering capability. And I also enabled the administration menu toolbar style module. And that's it. I'm going to put a list of this in the in the video notes so you can have it just written down. Um, yes, if you happen to use WebEnabled, which uh, you might do because I showed you how to do it, you can do the same thing. Going to Sites and going to your site of choice. Let's see here. There it is. And this should bring me a link to the actual website if I want to do that. Uh, but I want to go to Drush right now and uh, use Drush to download the same modules. And in the previous screencast, the last one in, in this series, uh, 2B screencast, I downloaded the um, Devel module. Here, Drush starts by giving us some uh, um, basic information about the site. That's not what I'm interested in right now. I want to use the modules things with Drush to download new modules. I click modules here and we can see if I scroll all the way down uh, Web Enabled brings you the backup and mi migrate module by default. Oh, it brings you also module filter. I didn't know. Okay, and in the last screencast we also installed the Devel, gen uh, Devel module. Actually, the these things, the Devel thing here and the administration menu here, these are not modules, these are actually projects that contains modules. Each checkbox in the modules list is a module and they are contained and managed on Drupal.org as projects. But most people call them modules. Alright, where were we? We have already module filter and devel module and that means I only have to add admin menu. So I click here and add and let Drush download and now it's tea time. And, and, there we go. Admin menu 3.0 release candidate 1 is downloaded. Uh, I could, right from the Drush interface here, select which modules to enable. I don't really mind right now because I will be using my, my local copy here. But you could do that or you could uh, browse to the module page on your site, which is usually better. Um, and enable it. And that's it. If you do it from the module page you and the module says well you need to download this extra package uh, to, to use this WYSIWYG module for example uh, you will see that on the module page but you won't see it really if you use Drush. You might see it as a message up here, I'm not really sure in some cases but uh, for, for complex modules it might be a better thing to, to use the uh, online uh, the online page for managing modules. Yes, and that's it for this screencast. Uh, we are now, you, well, if you install these modules, you're ready to go into the second exercise uh, series, not the boss series, but now we're going to look at the at uh, content types, at fields, and entities. And I hope to see you there.